The biggest question scientists want to know is, are we really alone in the universe? Given the size of space and the number of galaxies, it seems logical that life may exist somewhere else out there other than the Earth. Perhaps that somewhere could be right here in the Milky Way galaxy around a world known as K218b, where NASA's James Webb Telescope has identified fresh signs of potentially life-indicating chemicals in the planet's atmosphere. K218b is an exoplanet lying 124 light-years from Earth around a red dwarf star in the constellation Leo, which was discovered by the Kepler telescope in 2015. For the longest time, this planet, which is around twice as large as Earth and more than eight times its mass, was classified as a mini-Neptune, a type of giant exoplanet which shares characteristics with the ice giants. However, in 2019, scientists analyzed the starlight passing through the atmosphere of K218b and detected the presence of water vapor. Water vapor is an essential ingredient of life, and K218b lies within the habitable zone of its star, which could mean that the water vapor is the result of an ocean, perhaps an ocean capable of sustaining life such as microbes. But scientists weren't convinced, because our transit method technology for studying atmospheric starlight was very immature at the time, and the very fact we could actually detect the water vapor implied this planet must be sufficiently large for us to do so. Therefore, Scientists continue to uphold the theory that this planet is an ice giant, like Neptune. But the situation has changed since the end of 2023, when the James Webb Telescope turned its sharp infrared lens towards K218b. Using the transit method to analyze light in the atmospheres of exoplanets is one of the main objectives of the telescope, and it is an unrivaled tool, even superior to the Kepler telescope. And when it studied the planet's atmosphere, it identified the presence of both carbon dioxide and methane alongside water vapor. These heavier elements are much less likely to coexist in the atmospheres of a conventional ice giant like Neptune, putting the idea that K218b is a so-called super-Earth-type planet right back on the table. If K218b is a supersized rocky planet, then it may house an ocean on its surface, which is gently warmed by the red dwarf star. And while super-Earths seen elsewhere tend to retain compounds that make them much more toxic and inhospitable to life, it's hard to envision a global ocean on a world twice the size of Earth, which doesn't have a single living organism inside of it. The true nature of this planet is still not entirely clear, and now scientists are questioning whether this is a new kind of very large rocky planet with atmospheric similarities to ice giants. Nevertheless, K218b remains one of the strongest candidates for a rocky water-rich planet in the habitable zone of its star. In less than a single decade, we've gone from not being able to see habitable atmospheres on exoplanets period, to teasing out the signs of individual types of chemicals in worlds hundreds of light years beyond. And once we've managed to pinpoint the exact properties that indicate habitation, it's likely that K218b will be one of the first places where we can solve the ultimate mystery of whether we are truly alone in the universe. Thanks for watching the Space Shack. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to help our channel grow.